Hello everyone, Castle95 here, and tonight we're gonna take a look at both X and Zero G divisions from GFW and ICW. Now, I'm not doing this just to say which company is better or which division is better, but I'm comparing both companies just to appreciate the differences between them. So, both divisions were created to showcase high flying cruiserweight wrestlers like Stevie Boy, Kenny Williams, Sanjay Dodd, and Andrew Everett, among others. But this this doesn't mean that these divisions have not showcased more grounded and heavyweight talent like Samoa Joe, Trevor Lee, David Blaze and Zach Gibson. So the main objective of this division is to fire up the crowd often being part of the opening match to big shows like pay-per-views or i-pay-per-views having their own unique stipulations like the Ultimate X for GFW and the Square Go Scramble match for ICW. Now with this clear we can go ahead and talk about about what's happening right now. Let's start with the current champion. For the X Division we have Sanjay Dot, who walked the underdog road to finally after 13 years win the title for the first time. With a really charming and relatable storyline about being overlooked and not considered championship material, facing an eye injury provoked the same night of his return, questioning if maybe winning the X Division title is just not in his destiny, maybe everybody else is right and Sanjay is doomed to always be the greatest X Division wrestler that never won the title, being forced to confront himself, confront the champion Loki, appeal to the respect that Loki has for him to ask for a title shot in India, his home in front of his people, Sanjay forcing himself to step up, giving himself an ultimatum saying if I can't win the title this time I'm ending my career putting himself in a do or die situation in front of everybody so in the big night he beats the odds he defeats Loki winning the title proving himself and GFW that he is championship material and that he is the best X Division wrestler ever but it doesn't end there now he has a target on his back now not only Loki says that Sanjay got lucky the night that he won the title but he wants his legal rematch as soon as possible. And what does Sanjay do? He pushes himself to the limit again and challenges Loki to a 2 out of 3 false match at the biggest night of GSW's year, Slammiversary 15. Sanjay knows that he is the best when he is under pressure. He knows that the higher the stakes are, the better he performs. So the match is set and Sanjay defeats Loki clean in the biggest night of his GFW TNA career. Now for the Zero G division we have Zack Gibson. This guy is the opposite of Sanjay. Zack has a problem with high flyers calling them skinny flippy boys. He doesn't like what this division represents. He wants to change people's perception over the Zero G division and in his words he wants this division to be the best pure wrestling belt in all around the world. He doesn't care about the spirit of the division or the pride of the history. He only cares about competition. He wants to make people tap and win matches. So we have a guy with a clear goal. He focuses his attention on winning that title and end Kenny Williams reign. And how does he make this happen? First he tries to fit in the division, playing by Kenny's rules, start using the ropes, being in multi-man matches and it doesn't work and the fans boo him really loud every time he appears and it gets worse when he takes the mic so he changes his strategy he will no longer try to fit now he will make everyone follow his rules follow his pace bring the zero g division to the ground starting with attacking matt cross in the middle of a match and using the fans in his favor now he actually enjoys the boos and now the fans start to scream with him to be recognized and he takes the champion Kenny Williams out of his comfort zone he forces brawls at ringside mad wrestling and keeps Kenny from flying around with submission holes and breaks his game after beating him in a street fight he finally becomes the champion and starts to shape the division to his image starting with an awesome promo backstage and a successful defense against Liam Thompson actually humiliating him and trying to send a message to 
future contenders when things start to get really interesting so we have three characters in each story we have the champions the former champions and the third men which are also former champions but they have been crushed by all the things that happened and haven't been granted a title shot in a long time i'm talking about trevor lee and lewis garvin let's start with trevor lee first he loses his title the night that loki and sanjay return then he loses his manager shane helms and then he gets pinned by Braxton Sutter in India and then he doesn't even appear on Slammiversary. He has no friends in the impact zone, he's frustrated with the company and he wants some revenge. On the other hand, we have Lewis Garvin who actually beat Lionheart for the Zero G title in the road to Fear and Loathing and became Zero G champion. By due to politics and Lionheart being a bitch, he was never recognized as a champion. Instead, he was left out of the picture and leave the spot for Kenny Williams and lately he has manifest his frustration with ICW through promos and promotional videos so Dallas is putting him in a tag team called Kings of Catch but instead of just roll with that idea and or get angry and quit Lewis Garvin actually wants to be a tag team champion and also the Zero G champion as he said on the fight club from the 21st of July he feels that he has been overlooked and that ICW owns him a title shot and that he doesn't fear Zach Gibson. Now what do Trevor Lee and Kenny Williams have in common? They both stole the title. After all the noise from Slaviversary ended, Lee attacked Sanjay, stole his title and declared himself the new champion. Sanjay gets mad and starts to chase him backstage screaming and being held by security. Meanwhile Trevor Lee who actually has got smarter after all the time that he spent with Shane Helms gets Bruce Pritchard's approval almost without doing anything. Letting Sanjay embarrass himself in front of Bruce and convincing Bruce that Lee is the right champion and also help that Bruce has become a jerk since his problems with EC3 and Eli Drake. So Lee is in a higher ground than Sanjay and could very well end Sanjay's dream title reign. Meanwhile Kenny Williams who is a good guy comes out to rescue Liam Thompson from Zach Gibson makes him run out of the ring and then takes the title and runs through the fans stealing it. Now he has not declared himself the champion but he obviously wants his rematch and he also wants to play man mind games with Zach Gibson. He wants Zach to know that he is not the only one with a strategy and that Kenny is not done with the Zero G division and he wants his title back. But that's not all the problems that our champions have right now. In Sanjay's case he not only have to deal with Trevor Lee but actually Bruce Pritchard has turned his back on him letting Lee keep the title. So he will have to talk with Dutch Mantel I guess and figure the way to regain the title that he never lost once again having all odds against him. Meanwhile Zach Gibson he not only has to deal with Kenny Williams stealing his title but now Lewis Garvin wants a shot at the title too so there are two guys willing to do anything to end his title reign and that's how things are so far. I hope that this video has encouraged you to watch ICW or GFW if not both and witness how these stories unfold in front of our eyes the following weeks. That will be it for this video and don't forget to comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.